All right, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is, is Great Tutor, and what I do here yeah, solve technical drug problems and also provide very important information that you can make useful for you to have better performance in your technical drug examinations. If you are watching my video for the first time, I appreciate you and I want to ask that you subscribe to this YouTube channel as a technical drug student and help me to share my videos with your friends who are technical drug students. And don't forget to put on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. And at the same time, as I usually say that you need to practice this subject, this is a practical subject. As a technical drawing student, as an engineering drawing student, you need to practice so that you can get used to it and be able to solve any problem that has to do with technical drawing that may come your way or that may be given, you may be given in your examinations. Now, let's look at this problem. I want to show you how you can construct the asymmetric view of this object as we are given the front elevation and the plan and these are given in the views are given a first angle orthographic projection and as you know this is the front elevation and this is the plan and the text that i'm holding is engineering drawing one by pico papaka i'm on page 165 of the textbook now as i said that this is the front elevation this is the plan so here now let's talk about the dimensions of this uh view that we have here this time from here to here is 115 millimeters uh from here to here is 75 millimeters from here to here is 12 millimeters from here to here is 50 millimeters from here to here is 12 millimeters and from here to here is 12 millimeters from here to here is 50 millimeters and this is point a and then for the plan so this time from here to here is 75 and from year to year is 25 from year to year is 12 from year to year is 12 millimeters so what i'm going to do here for you to understand uh how the how you are going to construct the isometric view i will first of all produce this front elevation i produce this shape as it looks here then we'll be able to bring out what we have here in the plan you know for the plan we are looking at the object from the top and this is what we see so for you to understand it i first of all produce this so let's go now the first thing i need to do is to draw with your uh 30 degrees square so draw a horizontal line here draw a horizontal line here then uh with this 30 degrees square so uh produce this line okay so produce a line in this direction and you turn it to this side so you also produce a line in this direction all right so with what i've done here so the next thing i'm going to do is to draw a vertical line so i'm going to draw a vertical line here so here i will draw a vertical line like this okay so with this vertical line that i've drawn so at this point this is where we have point a so take note of this point this is point a here now okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to take a measurement of uh 75 millimeters so here i will take a measurement of 75 millimeters from this point so 75 millimeter this is 75 millimeters so at the same time i will divide 75 by 2 that is 37.5 millimeters so this is the 7.5 so here i'm going to draw a vertical line here so from this point I will draw a vertical line so this is the vertical line and then i will draw a center line at the midpoint of this face so this is the center line okay so now so the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to take a measurement of 115 millimeters from this point 115 millimeters this is 115 so this is 115 millimeters so i'm going to transfer this so i'm going to transfer this to the other side so i'll transfer this to the other side like this okay so i'll transfer it here so uh you may not be able to see that so i'm bringing that so that we can see it so the next thing i'm going to do is that as i said that i want to bring out uh this face that we have here i want to bring out the shape of the front elevation all right so the next thing that i'm going to do is that i want to bring out this shape that we have here so from year to year is 50 millimeters 
so from year to year is 50 millimeters and from year to year is 12 millimeters so that's why i drew this center line so i will take 25 millimeters so from here this is 25 to the left side and 25 millimeters to the right side so i will come here and take a measurement of 12 millimeters down from this point so 12 millimeters okay now i'm going to transfer this so i'll transfer this to the other side like this okay then i will need to draw this line so this point i will draw this point so i bring it down here i need it i need to use it so also i will also bring it this one so i also bring it down here like this so i'm going to use it so the next thing i'm going to do is that i will connect this point to this point like this and i will also connect this point i'll connect this point together like this so all right so let's uh leave that there so the next thing that we want to do is that we have this rectangle this rectangle that we have here so i want to put it here and as we have that from here to here is 12 millimeters from this point down here is 12 millimeters and from here the length of the rectangle is uh 75 millimeters and the width is 50 millimeters which is distance here so i'm going to take a measurement of 12 millimeters at this point so this is 12 millimeters then from here i will take 75 millimeters up so this is 75 millimeters here so i will need to transfer so i'll transfer this so i'll transfer this point to this side and i will also transfer this to this side so the rectangle has come out so we have the rectangle this is the rectangle so we have it here. so the next thing that i'm going to do is that i'm going to transfer okay i will take a measurement of 25 millimeters so this shape that we have here so this we have this rectangle this rectangle that we have here so there's a rectangle that is at the back of this thing that is hidden in the front elevation you can see that it is drawn with short dashes line so this rectangle is around here at the back of the front elevation you cannot see it so and for the for this particular body so we have this rectangle as the top view from year to year like this and this time from year to year is 25 millimeters from year to year is 25 millimeters so i'm going to take the measurement of 25 millimeters here so this is 25 this is 25 millimeters so here i will draw a vertical line at this point so i'll draw a vertical line here so here I will draw a vertical line as I've drawn the vertical line. So the next thing I'm going to do is that I will complete this. Look at how what I'm going to do. So I'll draw a line from here. Then I will transfer this. So transfer this point from here to the other side. Transfer this point from here to the other side like this. Then here I'm going to join this together. So I'll connect this together like this. Then here i will draw this line from here like this so i will come to this point here come to this point i will draw this line like this okay then here also i will come here and transfer this point okay so i'll transfer this point to the other side and this point here i will transfer it like this to the other side okay so the next thing I'm going to do here is that I will connect this together. I'll connect this together. Okay, so here, this line is more than 25. So I will have to take a measurement of 25 millimeters from this point. So this is 25 millimeters. So I will connect this together. Connect this together like this. Okay, so that's how it will look on that part. So 
Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is that this rectangle that we have here that I said it is hidden, that I said it is hidden as we can see it here in the front elevation side, the back around here. So distance from here to here is 50 millimeters and the thickness is 12 millimeters. So I will come here from this point here, take a measurement of 50 millimeters, then I will take 12 millimeters. Okay, so here I'm going to draw from here. So I'll draw this. And I will also draw this. Then I will take a measurement of 12 millimeters here. So this is 12 millimeters. Okay. So here, I will draw a vertical line here, like this, then I will transfer this to the other side, okay? So that is the rectangle. So we can't see the whole of the rectangle. It is when we are looking at it from the top here that we see the rectangle going like this. So I believe we can see that. So the next thing we are going to do is that, what about this rectangle that we have here? What is this shape? So the top of this rectangle that we have here is this this rectangle that we have here so the distance from here to here is 12 millimeters so we are going to produce that uh, shape out of this rectangle so what we need to do is that so at this point at this point here so this point this point and this point so you have to draw a line like this so look at what I'm going to do so here you draw so draw this line, draw this line like this. So we just need 12 millimeters out of that. So we draw this out. Then we come down here. We come down here, we do the same thing. Okay. And then we come here. So we also do the same thing. So draw this line. Then we are going to take a measurement of 12 millimeters. 12 millimeters. So this is 12 millimeters here. So I've taken that 12 millimeters. So next thing I'm going to do is that, so I will draw this line from here. So I bring it down here like this. Then I will transfer it from here. Transfer it to this side. Then I will take it up. So I take it up like this, then I will connect this together, I just connect this together, so that's 12 millimeters, so this is it. So the shape has come out, what we need to do now is to bring out the outlines of the object, I'm going to do that behind you, but when I'm done, we see how it looks. Alright, so this is how the object uh, will look, um, this is the isometric view. So let me show you some things. As I've said that this rectangle that we have here, this is it. This is its top view. And the whole of this shape that we have here, so this line, this line, this rectangle, this line and this line, they are all here. The thickness is 25 millimeters from here to here as we have here. So, and then this rectangle that we have at the back here, it is here. And in the front elevation, it is hidden. We can't see it in the front elevation. As you can see it here, when we are looking at it in this direction, this is hidden from us. So this is the isometric view of this given orthography views. All you need to do is to practice. When you practice it, you definitely master it. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Keep on practicing and God bless you.